You're listening to Author Conversations, the Stenhouse Publishers Podcast. In Synchronizing Success, Aaron Kept shows how school leaders can create a comprehensive literacy system in their schools by aligning change components with a vision for literacy education. In today's podcast, Marin explains the three principles behind the system and how administrators, teachers, and literacy coaches can benefit. I think the kind of teachers who will want to read this book, they're the kind of teachers who are interested in bringing about some change. So the resources that are in this book for teachers, for classroom teachers, for special ed teachers, reading specialists, literacy coaches, uh, are the kinds of things like descriptions of some professional development venues that are from the very simple, like morning forums or article studies, to the more involved kinds of professional development. All are ways that they can implement it within their school system. The other thing, though, I think that teachers will especially like is a resource that we developed uh, among our classroom teachers, which is our literacy response plan. Our whole school uses this plan as a way of monitoring which kids are at risk and also responding to them with interventions that are classroom interventions. So one of the resources that is many pages in our appendices in synchronizing success is a whole bank of accommodations that that address specific uh, behaviors that are at risk for readers at the emergent level, at the developing level, and even uh, the intermediate level, um, different kinds of behaviors that are typically seen in a classroom, and how can you address those in the classroom? So I think that because our own efforts were a grassroots initiative, I think teachers will gain a lot from that. But I also think administrators will take away a lot uh, from this book. I'm hoping that administrators will come away with two specific things. The strategic plan kind of idea of of sustaining continuous improvement and also a whole set of tried and true steps for facilitating the comprehensive literacy system. The first part of the book is uh, all about three guiding principles that we use that help make the decisions about what to do next for continuous improvement. And those three principles are continuity, continuous professional development, and collaborative leadership. The continuity really begs the question of what components do we need to do in a more consistent way so that we can increase our impact on student learning, whether it's assessments or our instructional um, approach or if it's something to do with our responding to students. So what can we do to bring things more into line so that from classroom to classroom or grade to grade, we're doing things in a more coherent way. The other second guiding principle is the continuous professional development. Rather than going outside of our school walls all the time for professional development that might be disjointed or, or um, at, at odds with our own vision, we are able now to provide professional development embedded in our school culture. So the question I'm always asking for the continuous improvement uh, design is what else do we need to do to maintain this high level of professionalism on the cutting edge of current research and practice? And then the third guiding principle is about collaborative leadership, the idea of how do we bring in more voices and how do we extend um, participation of parents, of administrators, of more, uh, more teachers, so that uh, all voices are heard and also people are affirmed for their own leadership and their own ability to solve problems. And then I think administrators would also take away the, um, the tried and true steps. And in part two of the book, I, have, I address specific components that are uh, to help with the change, assessment instructional frameworks, curricular focus, response to intervention and professional development. And what I do, I think for administrators specifically, is I have a section at the end of each of those chapters called, What Can Administrators Do? And it's really for administrators and school leaders, literacy coaches, etc. Addressing, listing some of the specific actions that a school leader can take from the very simple 
kinds of actions to some large-scale initiatives that can move each of these components into a common alignment, a common visionary alignment. So in the whole book, the, really the idea of developing a comprehensive literacy system is about intentionally drawing together the resources, the attention, the actions under one umbrella of a, a common literacy vision rather than all these disjointed pieces working possibly at odds or in contradiction to one another. To learn more about initiating an effective and efficient network of literacy support in your school and district, check out Synchronizing Success, a practical guide to creating a comprehensive literacy system. Available online from staff.